Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Chronic Colouring Down Under. Firstly, I'd like to thank those who have subscribed so far and I would like to welcome those who are watching for the first time. Thank you. My name is Sarah, I'm from Victoria, Australia and today I'll be doing a flip through, requested flip through of Colour Your Own Dollhouse. So grab a drink, put your feet up and enjoy. Welcome back. Um, I had this book in my last haul video, so um, it has been requested for a flip through. So we'll get started. This is Colour Your Own Doll House by Maria Taylor. And I'll show you, excuse me, I'll show you, sorry about that, the ISBN. Um, it's not a huge book, but I'm very happy with it. I like it. And so we'll get started. The only thing I was a little bit oh, about was how all the backgrounds are already coloured. But it's not a game changer for me at all. So I love the artwork. I think it's really cute. And it's got a little story to each of it. And because I love Victorian period, um, it's yeah, perfect for me. So... I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I'm trying to find, hopefully, you can still see it all. So there's the front of the house. And then it gives you full colour version of the whole dollhouse. So you're seeing the top two floors there and then... Down the bottom is your basement and kitchen, scullery and cellar. So we might just pop it up a little bit. Sorry. Okay, so then it introduces the family. So you've got Mr. And Mrs. Sullivan and then Albert and Rosie Sullivan and then Boots the dog and Matilda the cat. And they're a wealthy family that live... At 51 Orchard Avenue in 1888. And then it introduced the servants. And there's Mrs. King the cook, Mr. Parks the butler, Miss Porter the nanny, and Ruby the maid. Then we get into the kitchen. And it's a Victorian kitchen. And it just, yep, what's going on? In there, that's a page, and then that side. So the backgrounds aren't. Now that I'm looking again, like they're not too polarizing. Should be. It's probably the best word for it. Then we have Mr. Sullivan in the drawing room. Because first off I was like, oh, it limits your palette and all that sort of stuff. But then I think, well, okay, we'll spin it around and it will just help you pick your palette. See, I'm trying to be positive. So we've got the dining room. And the butler, who I've already forgotten what his name was. Was it Mr. Porter? And then we have the master bedroom bed and then on this side we have Mrs Sullivan and her wardrobe and dressing table then we have the bathroom including a cobweb have the nursery with the nanny oh no is that maybe that's one of the kids yeah I think that's the daughter and then the son and then we have the servants quarters and 
and a bit of a storage area in the servants quarters I'd say and then the back yard or the back of the house sorry exterior and then the garden and then a walk down the street so that's the street that they live in and then this section just you can add your own little patterns to them if you want um, I'm not that brave to do that I'd probably just color them and then you can plan your own house which I don't think I would do I used to do this sort of stuff when I was a kid I would build homes in Lego and I'd draw and design them and yeah loved it so this was published in 2016 and that is Colour Your Own Doll's House illustrated by Maria Taylor and yeah I love it definitely happy with it um, it's not a big book but if you enjoy doll houses and that I strongly recommend it and the paper's nice um, obviously it's double sided so you won't be able to use alcohol markers but yeah I'm really happy with it so thank you guys for watching me today and um, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed please think about subscribing hit the notification bell share with your friends comment below but most of all stay safe and happy colors bye